to be part of the Warhammer 40k hobby in 2021 uh, is to be drowned in choices. Awesome, wonderful choices. Uh, I, although I've just started in this hobby um, a couple of months ago, I was exposed to the hobby about a decade ago, and just thinking about my experiences now and the experiences then, just there's no better time to be in the hobby. There are so many choices, so many different people offering products and services related to Warhammer 40k. It's uh, it's pretty astounding, and it can be a little daunting. So in order to cut through the noise, I thought uh, this little uh, Let's Test series might be a good one to help us kind of understand uh, what choices are out there in certain, in certain situations and what might be better, what might be the same, or might what might depend on some other factors. And the thing I want to talk about today are our choices in varnish. I know, super exciting. Hang on, hang on. So we have quite a few choices where it comes to varnish, but for me, it kind of falls down to these two, mostly because of the ones I'm most familiar with. So yeah, uh, there's that bias. So this isn't a comprehensive test, but I do want to see what the difference is between these two. Uh, for the past couple of uh, mo uh, model kits I've completed, I've used Army Painter's Satin varnish. But before that, my earlier models used this guy, the Citadel Color Munitorium varnish. Well, there's nothing on top, it's all on the label. Uh, and I have noticed a few differences between them. Um, let's just say some consistency issues, maybe uh, like a little bit of frosting on one of them. I won't uh, say which was which. Uh, let's just say that I started to prefer one over the other, but is this choice, is this choice a legitimate one? I don't know. Uh, I'm, I've got all kinds of biases, and for all I know, the, you know, the recency bias is the one that's hitting me the most right now. And in other words, the thing that I've used most recently is a thing I prefer. So, what I want to do is I want to test. I want to see which of these, uh, maybe not as better, because I, I, I bet we're not going to get to a this is better at all times. Uh, I'm just going to do a simple test. I'm going to take two models that are very similar and spray one of them with Citadel, spray the other one with Army Painter, and just see what they look like, right? To see if we can spot any differences. Uh, because at the end of the day, this is probably just a matter of preference and maybe experience. So if you're familiar with one or not the other, or if you're struggling with the choice, take a look at the video that follows and see See if this changes your mind, or uh, maybe it helps build confidence in the choices that you've already made. Let's hope this is interesting. It sounds interesting up here. Who knows? So these are the two guys that are going to be our victims, our test subjects for this little less test um, video. We have two members of the kill team that I haven't yet finished. And uh, now that I think about it, I'm glad I haven't, because now I have two dudes to mess with. So these are both members of the kill team for Death Watch, and uh, they're both armed similarly. I've opted to focus on kind of the, some of the heavier weapons, since uh, Death Watch doesn't have a ton of options where heavy weapons are concerned. At least we can take quite a few of them. And so here's what they look like before. All right, there's they're nothing special. They're not even all that great. Uh, I've I, I've had better models uh, painted, um, but you know these are these are done and they're unvarnished, so they're ready to go. Uh, not every one of your models has to be, you know, a work of art. Sometimes they can just be ready to field, and that's. That's okay. I mean, maybe not when you have a YouTube channel, but since I don't have that many viewers anyway, it's fine. It's fine. All right. So they're uh, both armed with the same weapon. They have the same basic uh, color scheme. And the only real difference between them 
is their shoulder pads. So, otherwise, they're all exactly the same. Oh, maybe the little um, uh, optics equipment on their on their power plant. That's the only major difference. So, I'm going to take. Well, since they have shoulder pads, this won't be a, a blind test. Uh, oh, also the base is different. So I'll know which one's which, right? So let's just go with, uh, well, let's just go with this right here. So what I believe is the White Templar will be hit with uh, Citadel Color, Muni Citadel Color, Munitorium Varnish, and the... Oh, there's a, there was a name for this guy's chapter, but I forgot. Well, whatever he is, the Raven dude, he'll get Army Painter. So let's try it out. Well, here they are. After a little bit of varnish has been applied, I hit them with the same amount of varnish. Um, basically, a light spray at a consistent distance. Basically one for each of the four sides and then one up top. Um, I didn't do it very thick because I wanted to make sure I didn't get any frosting. And the results are... Um, subtle, let's just say. Uh, now, in this test, I'm really only focused on what the models look like afterwards. I'm not... Uh, uh, gonna test and I'm not even sure how that would happen I'm not gonna test how effective the varnish is or protecting the paint that's underneath uh, I'm just gonna focus on what they look like and you know I'm not sure how much of this will translate but here's here's my thoughts here's my observations uh, this guy looks a bit there's a bit of shine <clears throat> there's a bit of like a shine like a sheen the satiny kind of a finish. Um, it's kind of like a weird cross between a matte finish and a glossy finish. Uh, this guy, I almost don't see a difference. Um, I mean, aside from the sloppy paint job that he has, the only real so aside from the kind of the, the the sheen, right? There's only one other difference that I've been able to spot, and that's if you look at this at their back legs, you can kind of tell that the one on the left, that the something Templar, there's a little bit of frosting happening, and it's the only thing I noticed is perhaps a little bit of frosting, or maybe a better term was for it would be opacity on the right hand model. Uh, I don't know if that was there originally, but it looks like, so this one doesn't seem to have a lot of that. There's the, there's the shine. This guy seems to have a little bit, and I don't know if it's because of my sloppy paint job. You know what, I'm gonna check with this. Here's the third guy. This guy is painted the same way at the same general time, but he's not fro he's not uh, varnished. And so, yeah, it looks like the one in the middle uh, has a little bit of, it looks like a, a very light white wash over it. So that is this guy, the Munitorium Varnish. And that is here. This guy was unvarnished. Uh, so that was just for reference. So it looks like there is just the slightest bit of difference. And I, th I hope this comparison helps you get a better sense for what that, for what these two varnishes will do. Um, why, I don't know why the... Don't know why the focus has just decided to fight me. I don't know if this will help you make a decision. Uh, I hope it might. Um, I, I don't see one or the other as clearly superior. Uh, I'm, I'm less thrilled about the added um, 
opacity to this model. And in fact, it's kind of what I noticed when I made the switch over to Army Painter. Uh, that is not to say there's not a place for it, but at least be aware that it's something that can happen. Uh, I found that it happened quite often when I was using Citadel Munitorium Varnish, and that's kind of why I switched. Um, I haven't thrown, thrown it away, obviously, because I can still see a use case for it. Um, I just can't think of what that might be right now. For this guy, I like that it looks, I don't know, a little bit more metallic. There's that it's not particularly matte. There's a shine to it that kind of emphasizes he's made of metal. Well, quote unquote, made of metal. Um, yeah, so it, it is a matter of personal preference uh, at the end of the day. Like so many of these things uh, are. Uh, just be aware that there are some differences um, in the way your final product is going to look. And that way you can make a make an informed decision. Um, I know this was short, but it wasn't particularly complicated. Uh, so I hope it was helpful. And thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs>